ザ・サイコタクパンデルデイ I was curious, where did you take your cues from the video? Like, I it felt kind of like ABGN almost, but much more energetic, for lack of a better term. There, there, were a couple, there were a couple things that inspired me for the Psycho Taku. One, one was the AVGN, the Angry Video Game Nerd. And I actually love the, the Happy Video Game Nerd. And I was reading on some boards sometime that they said that all we need now is a mediocre video game nerd. <laughs> and, uh, but I thought to myself, well, what if there was a Japanese video game nerd? And showing us about import games that never came out in America. And the second thing is, is、um, I don't know if、uh, people are too young to know this, but back in when I was a kid, they used to have this toy line called Captain Power. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. 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 And, and every commercial for Captain Power started off, it was weird. It started off with this weird. Woman in this kitchen, and she was baking something, and then suddenly the feed was like interrupted, and then, and then Captain Power would come out and, like, I'm Captain Power from the future, look at all these toys I'm bringing you. And then he would like buzz out, and then there would be this weird cooking show, and then the commercial would end. And so I always thought that it'd be really cool if there was some kind of show where. Where it wasn't, just, it wasn't just a review show, there would be something to it. And that's why, that's why I, I brought Kenny on board. And actually, I brought Kenny on board because、uh, we used to work together, and he used to just do the craziest things. Just like, <laughs> just, I don't know why. He, he would just do it because that's who he is. And, and at the production. Cerebral palsy. <laughs> and, and, and at the time, it was like, this guy, this guy needs to be on camera. This guy needs to be on film. And no one gave him his shot. And no one, I don't even think he knew he had it in him. And I was like, I'm going to put this guy on camera. I'm going I'm to write a script for him. And it's going to be awesome. I'm actually a recent convert、um, after seeing a crossover with Ju Wario. I was wondering.、Um, What inspired the crossover? Or, like,、uh, did you know him before, or was it kind of a recent thing? It's, it's a funny story because when I was, when I was、uh, creating the Psycho Taku, I, I, was, I looked online. I looked online for an import game reviewer, and I couldn't find one. And so we started shooting in January of,、uh, I believe, 2009, and we started shooting. And by the time we finished all his fishing stuff, I, I did another search online, and then Ju Wario popped up, and I was like, oh man. And so I watched his show, and I just, as I was watching the show, I just became more and more angry because he was doing such a good job. And on top of it, he was such a nice guy. This was a guy who I was like, I could hang out with this guy, we could go to movies, we could play games together. And I was like, oh, I hate this guy so much. So I email him. Basically, and attach my、uh, YouTube video of the first episode, and he basically emailed me immediately back and was like, You're, You are awesome. I'm like, No, don't say that I hate you. <laughs> and, then, and, then he, and, then, and then basically, we started like an email relationship, and then I, sent, I, I wrote up the script.、Um, and for those of you who don't know, it was a re- review of all the Sentai series that led up to Power Rangers. This is kind of a Broad question, but what are、uh, all of your backgrounds, for lack of a better term? I'm a geologist. That's how I got into it. I used to be a boy. <laughs> <laughs> She beat me to the punch, so it's fine. <laughs>、um, I, I, I do video production in college. There is this place called Cal State Northridge. Woohoo! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> And everybody thinks that people from Cal State Northridge sucks, but I'm proving them wrong because I work in a job that pays eight bucks an hour. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I do video production work at a, at a web company called. I don't know if you heard of a company called Mahalo. I have a BFA in、uh, motion pictures and video、uh, from the Academy of Art College in San Francisco. <laughs> and、um, Rock on. Yeah, I've, been, I've, I've worked for many companies in the anime and、uh, video industry. Your background's not funny at all. 
know, it's, he's, he steals <laughs> I the best guy. Actually, I met him when we were working together, and like, at first I was like, holy Boss said, Tor can see the rat. <laughs> <laughs> and we went to Anime X, it was like four weeks in, we discovered his talent for retro stuff. Like, we were, we were, it was in Anaheim at the time, we were quizzing each other on like 80s cartoons. And my mind was blown, man, like visionaries. That's <laughs> hip hop. Oh, wow. cartoon. It's amazing. Look at this guy, he's outing me in front of all these people. <laughs> but yeah, you're, you're already outed. <sighs> it was, it was, I just want to make it clear that I'm so glad that we have a, 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 a friendship that blossomed like a beautiful lotus. <laughs> <laughs> How did you um, get into the import video scene? And uh, also, uh, what's your favorite import video game and why? A funny story was is that I, I opened up a magazine and it was like they had aired, uh, they had shown us Dragon Ball Z Super Budoldan. I was like, we need to get this game. So I went to an import game store, local one, and found it and purchased the game for $120. Yeah, you guys, you guys think that's crazy. I, I thought it was crazy. Well, I didn't think, I was super <laughs> Dragon Ball Z fan, and this was like back in the day when, when we would go into comic book stores and be like, Where'd you get that money from? Uh, drugs and alcohol. <laughs> I mean, if you love smelling, then you smell it. Right? <laughs> no, no, I, sa I saved up from Oh, you saved up money yeah. from drugs. Well, so you would have bought with drugs and alcohol. Yeah, you saved exactly. it. Uh, so, um, yeah, so $120. No, but that's not where the story ends. Where the story ends and kicks me in the balls is when I went to Japan like five years later and I went to a used game shop and they had the game there. It was 380 yen. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and for those of you who have Japanese calculators in your head, that's like three dollars and eighty cents. So I bought a hundred and twenty. Oh, <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, the Yu Yu Hakusho game for oh, yeah. the Mega Drive. Oh. And for those of you who don't know, the Yu Yu Hakusho game for the Mega Drive is a fighting game. But it's a four player fighting game. And it uses two planes. And the thing is, is it doesn't matter how good you are at that game. Because if you're playing with four of your friends, and you are just whooping their ass. They all start catching on, and they'll be like, this can't happen. And as good as you are, you cannot take on three of your friends. <laughs> uh, so my first introduction to import games was Dance Dance Revolution, when it was still an import. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm sort of a uh, more interactive gamer, I guess you could say. So my favorite import game is Pada 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 Dice, which you saw me playing up there, so. Gay imports. <laughs> oh, but my favorite import game, I don't know if, uh, if you guys heard of a game by Namco called Mappy. <laughs> Maybe. But, it, but it's not Mappy. <laughs> There's a spin off game that, uh, called Mappy Kids. But it was my favorite game because me and my brother would play it and there was bloodshed. You know, <laughs> and we used to beat each other up. I would purposely make Top ramen just to pull it, pour it on his head. <laughs> Scolding hot. And then he actually in turn destroyed it. That actually I, my, my brother destroyed our original copy. He took it. I didn't know he had power. He was a little kid, a four-year-old would complain like that. And we sat around crying, holding each other. But in the year 2005, uh, I went I, I went to Japan. I went to this place called Hakate. And they actually had Mappy Kids. And I did not pay $120. <laughs> it was like 15 It was amazing. And I, and I still own it today, and I play it. And if you guys want to come over and play it, come visit me at 29 Cedar Heights, 5,000 <laughs> <laughs>